everyone, it's Anthony Bandiero here, attorney and senior legal instructor for Blue Gold Law Enforcement Training, bringing you the roadside chat from Temecula, California. Um, here speaking at a gang conference, and I just I had the you know when you have a view like this, you got to take an opportunity to do some roadside chats. All right, the question is, can I search a vehicle based on the smell of fentanyl, smoked fentanyl? The officer's from Colorado, and he says, look, I frequently conduct narcotic addiction within my city, and like most, have had very frequent fentanyl arrests. In my years of experience, I have learned what it what a recently smoked blue fentanyl pill smells like through its distinct and unique odor. I am located in Colorado and have been a cop post marijuana legalization, right? But want to test another theory. Often PC, the contraband exists to search the car, but in the case no PC exists, can we use the odor of burnt fentanyl alone to justify a probable cause search? Okay, the answer is I think we're gonna be okay here. So here's why. First of all, let's we don't have a case on this yet, right? We're making I like to say we're making case law, but I think we're making good case law. Let's look at the old days when marijuana was illegal, you know, in Colorado. And if you stopped a vehicle and it had the odor of burnt marijuana, like you could testify that there was they were actually smoking and driving in this vehicle, right? It's not something that happened a week ago. It's like happened maybe minutes ago before the stop, right? Could you search that vehicle for evidence? The answer is yes. Would a judge give you a warrant if you wanted to, to go look for more evidence of the smoking violation? The answer is yes. What are you looking for? Well, A, I'm looking for more marijuana. But even if they smoked it all, I want the implements that they used to smoke it. I want the evidence. I want the, you know, maybe the paraphernalia and so forth to prove that they were smoking and driving at the same time, which is prohibited in every state. Well, now apply that logic to here, right? Is, do, do we want you know evidence of that fentanyl? First of all, yes, they probably have more fentanyl in the vehicle, but they also have the implements that they use to smoke it, the spoon or whatever they're using, the, 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 the pipes. You know, I'm not exactly sure what these implements are for paraphernalia, but there's something, there's something gonna be, they're not burning it on their hand, right? So I want that evidence. As far as the smell goes, well, we have cops that testify that they can, they know what marijuana smells like. I know that they kind of do that in the academy, but we also have police officers that know what cocaine smells like. Like they have, there might be a joke in there, but they, they have the experience like interdiction and this like this mass amount of cocaine in the car. Sometimes police officers are able to articulate that it has that, that they, they, they tell me it's like sweet smelling, right? It smells sweet. But we also have cops that articulate meth labs, right? They know what a meth lab smells like, like that, that cat urine and so forth. So that's no different than here. So are we making case law? Yes, but the cop has to credibly testify that he knows what fentanyl, burnt fentanyl smells like and why and so forth. And also get over that hump of it's not just burnt fentanyl. You know, if you have, if, 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 you know, just because it's been smoked at one point in that car, you want to testify that there's evidence that there, you have reason to believe that the evidence is going to be in the car right now, right? The way that they're acting, their abnormal nervousness, they, they take a long time to pull over. They have recent and relevant drug history. Um, they look under the influence right now. Those are the things that we're kind of looking for. All right. I hope that answers the question. The purpose of these videos is to help you get it right every single time. Until next time, my friends, you stay safe.